Today we have another brand new awesome update in Free Pick. This is where you combine the power of AI and you merge it with the power of easy editing. Because now with this latest update in Free Pick, you can create custom mockups. Let's go ahead and open this up and go to AI Image Generator. Now on the left hand side, we're going to go ahead and select this mockup icon. And I'll show you exactly how you can do this in three ways. The first thing we're going to do is simply create this with just a basic prompt. Over here on the left hand side, let's just do that by simply typing in any sort of prompt that you want. There's my prompt, handsome man, editorial style photo in a cafe wearing a crisp white t-shirt. Let's go ahead and generate the first mockup with this very simple prompt. Okay, now there you have it. There is my man right there. I just basically used a very simple prompt. With him in there, you can see there is my selection. I can even edit the mask if I want. Or on the left-hand side, I have some additional settings that I can actually use. But let's go ahead and add another layer. Okay, now after selecting layer, let's come in here and see if I can bring in my logo. I'll select use image and look, instantly it appears in there. But look what's so cool about this. Since we're working in masks, as I click and drag my logo around, it's gonna stay right there within the mask itself. I can expand it like this and actually have it take over the whole entire shirt, or I can just move it around and actually have it appear somewhat like in the middle of the shirt like that. Okay, so that was the first way. Now let me show you the second way. And now this time we're gonna have image selected. So click this to upload an image. Now you can do one of two things. I can search by prompt, so I'll do that. I'm gonna search by prompt and type the word screen in. That way I can see all images of a screen. Okay, this one right here looks good. So I'll select her. So now with her selected, she's holding this very large phone. Now go ahead and select use image. So now after about 60 seconds, here it is right here. And just by hovering over this, it automatically detects what portion of the image will be utilized as a mockup. Notice this, it knows that the phone, that little internal area is the mockup section and this is how easy it really is. Now from here, there's nothing else you need to do except this one impressive step. So now I have some other images opened up right here, okay? Some other AI generated images. Let's say for an example, I'm trying to make a really cool phone wallpaper. Here's what I'll do. All I have to do is just take any of these images I want, and now I am gonna click and drag it over into this actual image. There it is, I'm bringing it from one screen to the other, just like this instantly and immediately it appears. Look, there it is right there. As I move it around for reference, that's the actual image on my other screen. And now there it is. Now I can just click and drag to move it around. I can resize it, get it in the sort of the area I want. And now there it is. If I don't like it, go ahead and hit that trash icon. And now watch this. Now let's bring a separate one in. And now this time resize this one. This one is gonna look pretty cool once I get it to the right size. And now check this out right there. Make a few minor adjustments to make sure it covers the whole internal portion. Look at that, that is so cool. Which now brings us to our third way. So now let's go ahead and create mockup again over here on the left hand side. And now we're gonna go ahead and just select from their library. With library selected, go ahead and and click select mock-up on the left hand side. And this is one thing I really love about free pick because other than all the AI stuff, it really is a true all in one platform. I can scroll and scroll until I find something I wanna use as a mock-up. Now with that said, I went ahead and selected one. This over here on the left hand side does look pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and upload our image. And now for this one, let's say I wanna create a new mock-up for one of my prompts databases. Perfect. So what I'll do is bring one of my own images over into free pick. I'll just drag and drop it right there. Okay, there it is, perfect. Now select use image. And now I have my mockup image and now my image right here below it. Let's go ahead and now select generate mockup. And now there you have it. Look how amazing this actually turned out. It fits perfectly. It's those two books. There is my new image. And now creating mockups can't get any easier than this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you like this video, please remember, hit that subscribe button. Until then, we'll see you next time. <laughs>